Hi YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. So yeah, we're dealing with mud and we've got more snow about and cold temperatures, very cold wind. But uh, I just want everything to freeze because I'm kind of done with the mud now. Uh, we have had some progress though. We have got the piglets in together and the mummies separated. So eventually we can get them all together and then we can actually deal with the mud, put up a temporary roof and things like that. Obviously, the permanent solution for the pigs will be coming next year, but it'll be really nice to actually just sort them out and get them happy. And, well, they like mud. I don't like mud. I like to see them in cute, fluffy hay. So, yeah. Um, we have had some sad news, though. We've had to say goodbye to Rosa. So, Rosa was named after a friend's daughter in the UK. Her uh, daughter wanted to be named, <laughs> one of the piglets be named after her, so it's not like we're thinking she's a little piggy. <laughs> and um, the, she's actually gone to Newfoundland with um, a little piggy from the second batch, Albert. So, Albert will become Bacon Bites, but Rosa will be saved um, for a little bit because she'll become a breeder, hopefully. Um, so we'll be able to see her and they've been really sweet and sent us videos and have updated us We're following their Facebook page to see updates of Rosa so I'll, I'll leave their Facebook page in the description so you can follow Rosa as well and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to Marcus is going to be off at the end of this week so hopefully we can get really get the pigs buttoned up for the winter we've got four more piglets going I think end of this week as well so yeah we can get buttoned up for winter and start having less mud i'm hoping anyway i run the footage and you can see what we've been doing Bye-bye, piggies. Piggies. Piggies are going. Two more piggies gone out. Feels like winter's coming, right? On this side, on the side there. And the small one is on bottom. Oh, that's not good. Bye, piggies. Bye-bye, piggies. Bye-bye, Rosa. Bye-bye, Rosa. Yeah. You and Mummy. Bye-bye, Albert. There you go, It's great to see Rosa and Albert settling in so well with their uh, new uh, sty buddy, Flanders. So hopefully they're all going to be best of friends in no time. Is it snowing, sweetheart? So 
so it's that time of year when we're getting our wood in. Just got a load of cart ready to go in and Marcus is starting to clear. So if you remember, we did that back part of the woodshed. We haven't actually clad it yet and things just got thrown there out of the shed. So we have got to do that. How's it going, Marcus? As always, get cleared up. I feel like we're uh, winter. When winter's coming after that snow yesterday. Yeah. So yeah, out with the lawnmower and in with the snowblower. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel. Bushes look all right that we've planted. Hopefully they're okay. Marcus is pruning. The big Hi, Freddie. Are you helping? It's a pile of wood, Marcus. Yeah, but I'm hoarding these bits. Are you hoarding? Yeah. Okay. These are too useful. To so if I, if I zoom out, this is the mess we have because we want to finish siding. I think you might have to fix your chainsaw before we can chainsaw them again. Yeah. We took uh, this weekend off, really, quite a quiet weekend, and uh, watched back to pack war movies and talked both about my great uncle Tommy, who died in the Second World War, and Etty, as usual, did the uh, Remembrance Parade with the cadets, but the weather was awful, so it was inside, so no marching for her this year, um, but we still got to see her dressed up, which was nice. that love this weather. I've got lots to say, haven't you? Yeah, I've got lots to say. Moon, you're not a duck, sweetheart, you're a turkey. She's a duck. <laughs> you found a bit bright. So we picked a really blurry day to separate the mummies and the babies. Completely. Because this is just a mess now. So we want to get ready to set up our winter pasture. So we managed to get both mummies in here. And all the babies in here, we're just giving them fresh hay. Went better than I thought, Marcus. Yeah, not the weather for it though. Marcus has finished the course that he's been doing for the past month or so, so hopefully we're gonna have extra time to spend on the homestead. It feels really positive to be able to move forward with the bedding the pigs down for the winter. And we're really looking forward to just having that permanent solution for them next year. We're super happy with the driveway. I've noticed how much cleaner it is and it's really solved the mud problem with the driveway. So yeah, we're loving that. I feel like we've really managed to home in on what we enjoy doing. Next year is looking way more chilled. That may mean we have more time to settle into the house, make it ours with a bit more storage, freshen it up. But you know what? I don't think we're going to make a massive wish list of jobs for next year. I think we'll go with the flow and we'll enjoy life. We're looking forward to warm fires, sofa snuggle time, watching the new Outlanders series, and of course, all creatures great and small. Let us know in the comments what programs you t intend to binge watch in the autumn months.